Hey friends, Gina here from the Shabby Creek Cottage and today I want to show you how to take an old book and turn it into a beautiful paper bag snowflake. So I started off with this book that I picked up out of the free bin at my local used bookstore because it um, it was missing a bunch of pages in the cover and I thought man I could make something pretty with that. So I grabbed that book and then I just tore out some pages to make this project. So essentially you're going to fold it into a tube long ways, just fold it in three and then glue down one side and glue down one end. So you're, like I said, making a flat tube and it takes quite a few of these. To do this project, I'd used about 25 of these tubes and it makes a rather large paper bag snowflake. So it's really easy to make this project like while you're watching a Christmas movie maybe or something along that. After I had that done, then I traced out these little divots on either side and I made kind of a template with one of the flat tubes. And then I just trimmed them out with my scissors and I trimmed three or four at a time until I had all of them done where the end is in a point and then the, there are the little V cuts on the side. Really, really simple. Once again, I'm telling you, it took maybe, maybe 30 minutes to do this whole project. I don't even know if it took that long, but a lot of that time was figured, trying to figure out how to make things come together properly. But once I have all of them done, then the next step is to simply put them all together. So if you've seen the paper bag snowflake slash star trend that's all over social media, it's very much the same, except you don't have to have bags to do it. Essentially, you're making long, thin little bags out of the book pages by gluing them together this way. And you could do it with plain paper, paper plain white printer paper, or you could do it with brown paper or leftover wrapping paper. Just after you have them done, you're going to glue the whole stack of them together. And this is where things got to be a little bit tricky for me. In the fact that once I had them all glued together, I had to figure out, okay, how do I expand this whole thing? Because it's it's bulkier and it's a little more delicate because I used vintage paper. So to spread it out, I actually grabbed a couple of large craft sticks and slid one in each side, but I realized it's not going to stretch all the way around. So after a little bit of trial and error, we figured out that if you cut a snip on the last little divot on the side to open it up on both sides, then it will expand all the way around. And this really gives it the area that it needs to be able to pull apart and expand all the way around. So same amount, it wouldn't go all the way the first time, it absolutely goes all the way around the second time. So after I had that done, I did leave the sticks in there just long enough to use them for stability to glue it all together, and then I pulled them out once that was done. But I thought, oh, it needs a little something. So we decided to add one of our little bitty round chalkboards on top, and I just took this design that was from my shop. Um, the link will be in the, the description of the video if you'd like to grab it. I put the little chalkable chip on the back side and then flipped it over just to make it easier so that I could line it up better, add a little bit of chalk, and then I blow dried it and hot glued it right onto the front of the paper snowflake and it turned out so beautiful. So if you enjoyed this project and you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and you can um, find all of the supplies for the chalk bit in the video description, like I said, and I hope to see you on my next video soon. Merry Christmas!